Refi Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 74th Venice International Film Festival. I'm with Guillermo del Torres Stanley Oakins, director and protagonist of The Shape of Water. Welcome. Thank you. First Thank of you. all, Guillermo, I have to say that the first thing I thought after the film is that I didn't have words, I didn't have questions, I just wanted to argue. Oh, thank so, you. Thank well, you so much. Time for that. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said argue. It's yeah. a, a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so my question is, how can you make us always believe? You may, the, I feel that the whole, I don't know, the whole, I don't know, concept of suspension of disbelief mm -hmm. is something that you shape in your own way. It's, not, it's like you're clicking a button in us and we well, so, believe. Well, some, you so, sometimes you fail, <laughs> sometimes you get it right. You never do it. And, and when you, <laughs> what, what you do is do you do the same thing. You, uh, a movie is a lie and uh, like any good lie you need to adorn it with certain truths. Mm -hmm. If I tell you I'm late because my car broke down, you don't believe me. But if I tell you, I, I, I'm late because my car broke down and I went to change the tire and, and, and it, I lost the, and I tell you, and it was so hot and you go, okay, it's real. So what you do is that you lie and then lie and lie and lie in order to find the truth emotionally. Because at the center of all those lies, the, the emotion has to be completely true. So I was, so Sally, I was this yeah. journey. How did you find your true Eliza? Oh, it was truth. in the page. Uh, it was all there. I just had to step into the shoes and on the those sets. I mean, it was, it was pure. I, I just feel feel it from day one. And I, I as soon as I met Guillermo, I felt it and knew it and knew how important it was. And it just, I was just on like Eliza in that dream and following and going with the flow of it but her truth is all there it's it's so palpable <laughs> um there are many practical things you can do and i had the luxury of time uh to you know i i wanted to get there as soon as i could to to be there and be in that world and it's like um it it's like a stew that is cooking and you just want to be in that for as long as you can because it's a luxury and you learn so much and to you know to be working with Guillermo it's just every day it's a learn you just soak it all up because it's yeah a gift so, so do you have to believe to make believe yeah. yes yes completely and fairy tales it's that's we all need that to understand how the world works it's so important, completely. Yeah, I will stop talking now and let the master. Yeah, it just that <laughs> what struck me is that still it's a fairy tale, but it's not. No. I mean, it, it talks about our problems, our yes. real problems, our contemporaneity. Yeah, so yeah. all fairy tales are about all fairy tales are about real things, mm. you know. And actually, fairy tales are the perfect way to talk about things that you cannot talk in any other way: loyalty, purity, uh, love. You know, uh, fear, hatred, and I think that the movie is very much about what we're experiencing today. It's a very political movie without being political. It's a very musical movie without being a musical. There's yeah. even sex finally. Yeah, you know. sex and <laughs> violence for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you so much, Guillermo del Toro, Sally Ogis, for being here with us and with me. It was an honor and a thank pleasure. Thank you. Grazie tante. The wonderful The Shape of Water. Grazie. And this is Fred Radio, the Festival Insider. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. Thank you so much.